Aurora will be our first uh, use case of a robotic companion out on the airport environment for uh, partnering with federal agencies on wildlife mitigation. It's as simple as a controller. Um, the same thing of, of my ability to look around, to walk. Um, it's just like an RC car. So there's walk, there's stand. Um, but what we'll have to start off with is the pilot uh, or operator will be able to control Aurora over a web interface. Instead of utilizing explosives and poppers uh, and, and aerial spray platforms or putting down chemicals, this is a non-lethal, non-chemical based deterrent for wildlife mitigation. We do have bird strikes all across Alaska there and, and, and unfortunately you know in many issues it causes considerable damage with with operations or I mean if if we suck up a bird into a, an, an engine you know uh, possibly resulting in a crash so if it is proven successful um, one of the key items that you don't see on it right now is the cellular backpack in the future, we can have them out on the Aleutians. We can have them all around the state uh, and be able to log into them remotely and perform that mitigation. We're able to walk upstairs. We're able to navigate using judicial marks, uh, but everything has to be pre-programmed uh, in a structured environment. So we have to create a video game of the area around it in order for it to operate and understand what it's doing in there. We, we get the question a lot of just like, well, why don't we, you know, have a border collie out here? Um, now, a border collie, of course, requires food, training, um, warmth, and uh, but doesn't collect data for us. We have dual sets of cameras up here, so it's basically looking out both sides. And then off of the back, the sides, it's basically cameras and uh, vision sensing, which basically makes sure your, your top-down approach that wherever it's walking at, if it's looking for unstable surfaces to walk on, which we'll see here with the snow, uh, it's able to navigate that. Do you have a Roomba vacuum by chance? I do. Perfect. So think of your Roomba vacuum, but for the airport. Um, and it just every hour on the hour, it'd be a Roomba vacuum that scares off birds. Can or, I ask a question? Yeah, of course. Does it bark? Um, right now, no. Think of it like a ring camera uh, with, with, with legs. So it allows for us to make those, have that situational awareness with this platform as that data is getting digested into our GIS system. <laughs> now, you don't have to worry about it running into anything or really? it's gonna be able to navigate. Yeah, it's, it's basically, deciding the world around it. Um, kind of just like your cell phone, it's broadcasting LiDAR. Now that we see the technology, we see what it's capable of, we know the environments it can operate in, now we're coming down to, okay, here's what we know is possible, what can it deliver?